Hey everybody, I'm Chris. I'm Amanda, hi. Uh, today's video, we're gonna show you the top three ways of how you can skip the lines here at Disney World. What? what? And these are, these are amazing tried and true techniques that you can use to maximize your time down here at Walt Disney World to get the most rides in. So let's do this. And have the most perfect day yes. ever. Now we have a huge... Okay, now we have a ton of tips and tricks that we're gonna share with you guys. But before we get started, be sure to have that subscribe button clicked. That way you don't miss a video that comes out from us. We have tips and tricks, savings, everything you need to know about theme parks before you go. Okay, so if you look around, you'll notice that it is still dark outside. That's because we are up bright and early to get to the parks first. Look at this, it is still dark because we're going so early in the morning. Okay, we're on the bus and we're on our way. Disney World, here we come. All right, here we are looking bright and early. This is right here, we got the Skyliners going in. We are going to Hollywood Studios right at the very beginning, right here at the very beginning of the day. The sun's just barely peeking up right there. So here we go. All right, tip number one, how to maximize your day here at Walt Disney Studio, uh, Walt Disney World. And this works for any of the parks, Hollywood Studios, uh, Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom, Epcot, whichever one. If you are staying on property, like an on-property hotel, they let you into the park 30 minutes before the general public, 30 minutes. Now that is a huge deal because in that 30 minutes you can get a lot of like a lot of those big ticket attractions done before the crowd comes in. But you have to be staying on property in order to take uh, to really use that benefit. Here's a lot of times, but most people don't do that. So when you get here for that first 30 minutes, it's usually very empty. Now this opens up at 8 in the morning, right? We caught our bus, we caught our bus at 6.45. That brings us here, dropped us off here at 7.10 right now or so. I'm gonna get in at 7.30 and go in and blitz it for 30 minutes before everybody opens up. Now don't worry if you're like, well, I'm not staying on property. Don't worry, our next tip, we'll show you that in a few moments, how to do the, how to still do with the rope dropping if you're not staying on property. All right, let's do this, woo! Okay, we just went through security. We're here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Now there's gonna be some lines of people lining up and some of them, they're not getting an early entry. So you do not want to get in that, early, uh, that line there if you're coming here for early entry. You see these signs, see the signs right there that say early entry? Follow those signs and make sure you line up in the line that lets you get into the park early that are for those on-property hotels. Ooh, okay, we're here in line. It's sizzling, you feel anticipation. Now we are here if you're doing the early entry. You have a golden 30 minutes. Most people, what they're gonna do when they're here at Hollywood Studios, they're gonna go straight to Rise. I've done Rise multiple times, so I'm not gonna be doing Rise. I'm gonna be booking it straight to Slinky Dog Dash. Slinky Dog Dash, ah. Yeah, you really wanna maximize this 30 minutes. Get as many attractions as you can. There is another way that you can skip the line for Rise. This is called foreshadowing. Uh, that's what they call it in the biz, right? We talked about that a little bit later on in the video and how to do that, so. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. <laughs> guys, the park is supposed to be opening up in at 8.30 in the morning. It's 7.30, they're letting us in even earlier. So that's why you want to be here so early for this because you never know when they're gonna let you in. Yeah, I'm kind of giving, Okay, it's time to go in. You put your magic band <laughs> to get in, or your phone, and then you use your finger. You got it. There you go, awesome. Here we are, we are in guys, we are in, we are in. Oh, you guys look fantastic. Oh, you guys look fantastic, so good. so good. The Tower Terror is right down there. All right, so they just let us in early. We actually got in, I would say almost 45 to 50 minutes earlier than we thought. They said it's usually a half hour early, but they let us in early, which is so nice. So we are ahead. A lot of people are gonna to go to Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. If you go that way, it's gonna take you down to Rise. We are going to Slinky Dog Dash. I cannot stress to you enough how valuable this time is. This time right now, there's, it, you're, it's, you just get on the lines, get the attractions way faster. You really want to maximize this time. So be here early. A lot of times people, when the park says opens at eight o'clock, they show up at eight o'clock. No, 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 do don't do that. Be early, you have to be early. It is a brisk early morning. It's got a little chill in the air, but if, oh, look at this, somebody's excited. Oh, guys, this is, now here's the thing. If you make a plan and you vacation, you come all the way down here and uh, for whatever reason, you can't get here super early. Don't worry, there's still other ways you can skip the lines. We'll talk about that in a little bit in a moment because you might have little ones. It's hard to get them up or teenagers might be hard to get them up 
or you're just like, you know what? I'm on vacay, so I wanna sleep in. That's okay, not a problem. But for you early birds, this is the way. And this is an included perk for staying on property, the early entry, the 30 minutes early entry. So when you're staying on property, you don't have to do anything special. You don't have to like book an early entry, nothing like that at all. You just, just get included. it. That's fantastic. Okay, we are now entering into Toy Story Land. And I love this, it's one of the best theme parks. If you look down the ground, what do you see? These giant footprints. Did you know I actually did a whole video here of all things hidden in the ground here at these, at these parks? If you wanna watch the videos over here, 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 whatever, but there's a lot of hidden stuff. And there we are, I love this. We're gonna go do Slinky Dog Dash. All right, I'm gonna switch it up, guys. I wanna go to Toy Story Mania first. Let's do this, because I love this attraction. It's one of my very favorites. Let's do it. Now you see, this is the line, this is the queue, and we are skipping the whole queue. Just, you know, we're just literally walking on. This is why it makes it so fun coming here super early. Just keeps on walking. I love it. Do you guys know why they gave Bullseye a cough drop? Because he's a little horse. Hey. The theming here for Toy Story Mania is really amazing. It's way intense compared to the one at Disneyland. They've got like uh, colors, they've got cards. They've got the little, little monkeys up there, the dominoes, and the Tinker Toys. This is the, the theming here is just awesome. That's a little Easter egg right there. That is a Pixar short, the Tin Toy. So about ready to board, guys. Here comes our car. I'm gonna choose green. I like the green color. All right, just got done. I love this ride. Let's see my score. Wow, straight up. Let's see what we got. Bestest hour. All right, we are now doing this Slinky Dog Dash. The park is still not quite open, but you can see it says 45 minute wait, but it's not really a 45 minute wait, guys. That's just the time that they have here. Something kind of interesting, if you look back at that, it's a dog tag. What do you see? You see Buster. That's the name of the dog. And it has his address. There's a man issue, ready to go. All right, it is 8, 18 in the morning. The park actually opens at 8.30, and we're going on the right. It said a 45 minute wait, but that was not a 45 minute wait. It was 18 minutes. So here we are. Something fun to look at on Slinky Dog Dash when you're first getting on. Right there is a piece of paper. That is the whole roller coaster mapped out. So you see everything. You see like the, the chutes, the wrecks on the Jenga, all this. So you kind of see like what you're gonna do. Well, what, 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 right there. All right, so this ride has made Amanda probably cry more than any other ride. I was just thinking At the very I end, singing. Wheezy singing. Yes. And every time he starts to sing, Amanda bursts into tears because she's so, so happy. This ride is too cute for words. They really did a great job. I was just thinking that same thing. I'm like, I cry on this ride every time because Wheezy, it's just so tender, right? Everyone loves Toy Story. It's so good. The ride good. is adorable. And he's singing to you at the end. And this is a perfect introduction roller coaster for children. Oh, yeah. It's great. It's very smooth. Not scary. The little the thing started spinning to make it out. We're backing up. Get ready to shoot out of the turbo jet. And there they go, there they go, there they go, there they go. Hands up, hands up! Hands up! And this is the part that makes it manda always. There he is singing there, having a good time, and Amanda always gets a little emotional. It's so cute! All right, it is 8.27. The park is going to open to the general public in three minutes. We've already done Midway Mania, and we just did Slinky Dog's uh, coaster before the general public comes in. So, when you're getting ready to come down here to Walt Disney World, one of the benefits you do your research, you might want to be thinking about staying at an on-resort, on-property resort hotel. That way you get this benefit of coming in extra early. And it works for all parks, all the parks, Animal Kingdom, Epcot, uh, Magic Kingdom, all of them, you get to come in an extra half hour early. So that is a benefit by staying on an on-property resort hotel. 
<laughs> oh, by the way, if you want the best prices on that, I'll put a link down below. You click on that. That'll give you the very best prices. And, or if you want, you call this number, one eight five five getaway if you just rather do that. You'll get the best prices. Make sure you tell them though, Provo's Park Pass sent you to get the deepest discounts. All right, literally, it's like 8.30, the park is opening, so we're gonna go show you some other ways you can skip the lines if you're not staying on an on-property hotel. Let's do it. All right, here's a little fun tip. When you ride Slinky Dog Dash, every once in a while, listen very carefully, you're gonna hear the announcer, because you know when you ride Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, where they say, it's the wildest ride in the wilderness. Well, here on Slinky Dog Dash, what do they say? They go, you'll hear the voice, it's like, it's the wildest ride in Andy's backyard. Hey, so here I am. I'm in line to do Rock and Roller Coaster. We got here early, the early entry, and even though that we waited, I mean, look, I'm like with these guys here hanging out with them. Yeah. And we're having fun. You can get a lot of the rides and attractions done if you get here early. Do the rope early drop. entry. Rope drop, rope drop, drop. <laughs> How long rope. have you go? Go, go. <laughs> How long was this wait, would you say? Uh, it was. 22 minutes. Fantastic. <laughs> 22. <laughs> to be very specific. <laughs> All right, guys. Tip number two. How to skip the lines here at Walt Disney World. Genie Plus. Now, Genie Plus is a totally different beast here in Florida than it is in California. So if you're used to it in California, be aware. It's totally different. When you get Genie Plus here in Florida, you need to buy it. Buy it before 7 a.m. The day that you're going. You only buy a day of. You have to buy it before 7 a.m. I know, you're like, oh, it seems early. It is early, but that's what you have to do in order to get Genie Plus because it will sell out or it gets booked up. So you can buy it at midnight, the day of, like, so right after midnight, all the way up to seven. You need, you need to buy it before 7 a.m. though, that's key. Then once you enter into the park, you can start making your reservations on the Lightning Lane. That's the other key thing. So since you have early morning, if you're staying on property, you have early morning, then you start using G Plus right when you first get in the park. If you're not staying in uh, on property, you can start using it at 8 a.m. Start making reservations at 8 a.m. Now, the thing is, we made a reservation, Lightning Lane, for our Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, and that is gonna be going at 9.30. Once we've used that particular Lightning Lane, then you can use G Plus for another, uh, for another attraction. It is completely, you have to do it right first thing in the morning because unlike California, if you wait until like 10 o'clock to get your Genie Plus, then by the time you start using it, everything's gonna be like five, six, seven o'clock, eight o'clock at night. So you gotta get here right in the morning. So using it right in the, right in the morning. If you have the G Plus that's tapped to your band, it's tied to your band, you can just use that. And you're good to go. Now, you might be saying, hey, I don't have a magic band, what do I do? Not a problem, you can use your hotel key card, or if you don't have that, you can just use the app on your phone. It's like, tap it, and that works too. What? Now, we had this, the G Plus, and it costs $15 per person you group in order to have the G Plus. Be aware, there is a cost associated with this, but we just skipped a huge portion of the line. We, it's a 50 minute wait, and we are getting on in probably eight minutes or less. Getting us right to the pre-show. Now this is the key thing about your Genie Plus if you're using it. The second you the second you tap in, right, bam, now you go out and you can make another reservation for another attraction. So don't wait until you get at the end of the line or at the end of the attraction. The second you tap in, then go on Genie Plus and make a reservation for your next one. That'll, that way you're maximizing your Genie Plus. This is a fun little pre-show, but I want to show a little hidden Mickey right here, guys. Right there on the screen. Yep. Fun little hit of Mickey. So, always have something in your queue on the Genie Plus. That's important. A lot of times people will get so excited, they'll tap in, and they forget to get the next big attraction on Genie Plus. So you have to really maximize it. Because by about 10.30 or 11 o'clock, almost all the slots are going to be filled up. So right in the morning, bam, 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 bam. Make sure you're using it. That'll help you skip a lot of the lines. So, let's go ahead and do a reenactment. I tap in, bing, then I'll say boom, I make another another reservation on G Plus. Then I ride the ride, ah, and then I'll tap in, ah, make another reservation, and then I ride the ride, ah, tap in, make another reservation, ride the ride. That's how you do it. Boom, pow, boom, pow. There goes Gooby's train, it, train's coming in. It literally took us eight, nine minutes to get on using the Genie Plus. And a reminder, it does cost $15 per person per group. So everybody in your group has to have it if you want to use it. This is just kind of fun. I'm going to show a little bit here and there of this attraction because I love it so much. Right there, you notice it says 1928 because that's the year Mickey Mouse was created.
I love Daisy so much. Ready and one, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, excellent. You're all waltzing so beautifully together. Oh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Now. Uh oh. And there they are, singing a song, Nothing Can Stop Me Now. And you'll notice the fireworks make little Mickey heads. Okay, so we've been talking a lot about Genie Plus. Now there are some things you need to know about Genie Plus. Genie Plus, you're gonna get a lightning link like for Mickey's Runaway Railway or lots of other attractions, but what if you wanna ride rides? Well, you can't use Genie Plus for rides, what you do is you do what's called an individual lightning lane, also known as the ill, the ill, the I-L-L, -L, the individual lightning lane. You don't have to be using Genie Plus. You just go on the app and you can purchase a ticket that'll let you skip the front of the attraction right here. That's the only way you do that for like a rise attraction. If you want to do that, you got to buy the ill, okay? So a lot of times people will get Genie Plus and then they'll get the individual lightning lane, the ill, in conjunction. You, you, do, you do one or the other or both, whatever you want to do. Or if you don't want to do that, you can just wait in the line and come and wait in line, whatever the line is. And I mean, they, that goes, can be kind of long sometimes. Now, how much does the individual lightning lane cost? Well, it's variable. It ranges anywhere from seven to $20 per person. Seven to $20 per person, depending on how crowded the day is here at Disney. So there you go. Now, here's something you have to know about getting the individual lightning lane pass is they sell out. And once they're sold out, you can't buy them anymore. If you're staying on property, if you're staying on property, then you can start buying those individual lightning lane passes at seven in the morning. Woo! If you're not staying on property, you can start buying them at eight in the morning, eight in the morning. So there is an advantage of staying on property so you buy the individual lightning lane for rides if that's something that you want to do. And that's just another way to skip the lines. All right. Before we get to the next thing on how to skip lines, you guys, guess what? We're just right around the corner to Rat Pizza, Rizzo's Pizza. And if anybody's been watching the channel for a while, you know that I love it. They got meatball subs there. I need to go and get a meatball sub. Let's get a meatball sub and then we'll continue on on how to skip the lines. Meatball sub, Rat Pizza. There it is, guys. The greatest restaurant. <laughs> Rat Pizza, Rizzo Pizza, Pizza Rizzo. Yeah, it's amazing. It's so fun. We're going in. Can you? Oh, oh my God, it smells so good. Ah! I love this place so much. I love it. I love it. I want more. I love it. I love it. I want some Subway subs. <clears throat> Meet my sub. It's clean. Okay, but the real question is, yes. did you order the pizza cookie? I did, I ordered the pizza cookie, I thought we'd try it out. Yup. Babe, I told you to wait. You couldn't I, help yourself. I know, I couldn't help it, it's so good. <laughs> so, meatball, lots of cheese, light on the sauce, oh. And the bread's soft. It is yummy, mm -hmm. and they were so nice. For me, they did a little sub without any meatballs, <laughs> which is awesome. And we also have a fun reel about this place. There are like some little hidden secrets, hidden details here. So be sure to check out our Instagram. You might have to scroll down a little bit, but I have some fun Disney World reels you definitely want to check out. This is Chris's favorite restaurant. It is. Some people tease him for it, but he loves it. 
Are you guys ready to see this? This is a cookie. And what they done is a, it's a sugar cookie. They put white chocolate. And then that, this is like white chocolate, white chocolate, white chocolate, but it's colored with chocolate sprinkles. And then they've got strawberry jam underneath the white chocolate to make it look like, was that, like a margarita pizza or something like that, or whatever that is. It looks so good. I'm excited. I've never tried it before. Here we go. You ready? Oh. <laughs> I'm so good. All right, before we continue on, I just gotta show us. There's, there's Rizzo. But I have to show you inside because I love this so much. I think this place is so great. I love this restaurant. I know, I know. Everybody's like, what? Well, this is so fun. Check it out. On the second floor, they have this here is the Rizzo Deluxe Supreme Banquet Ball, right? And you look in there, they've got like lights and like, like a little dance floor and everything. And they got, they got music playing and everything here. But if you go out here and look at this sign, which is so funny, Rizzo's Deluxe Supreme Banquet Ball today. Somebody just got married. Join us for the wedding reception of Gil and Lil, daughter of Will and Jill, son of Phil and Bill, featuring DJ Electric Mayhem playing the greatest wedding hits of all time. But what you really want to look at is the back. You see where they kind of, you got to see, kind of see right there. It's kind of hard to see the reflection. See if I can get this here. Hang on. All right, so there we go. You can see where they take the letters off. It says Pa Otter Memorial Service. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. Hey, we're just having a memorial service here. Uh, yeah, uh, with tribute, uh, the performance by, and then down here, the Frogtown Hollow Jubilee. Uh, was that? I can't read that, but it says. I love that. It's like they're doing, let's have a wedding. And then uh, there was just the other day was a memorial service. That's what we do here at Rizzo's Deluxe Supreme Banquet Hall. Go right in here. <laughs> and they all got the music playing. I'm like, listen, he's like, boom. Doo, doo, doo. Yeah, it's so, and they got the disco ball and everything. Oh my gosh. Can you get enough of it? Okay, okay, I, I got it now. It's uh, Pa Otter Memorial Service with tribute performance by the Frogs Town Jubilee Jug Band. <laughs> That's so good. It's so good. Okay, I'm gonna, before we continue on, I need to do a quick little recap because sometimes it's a little confusing about all these things that happened. The park opened today at 8.30. By 9.35, we had ridden four attractions, and these are major attractions. And it was the Toys Midway Mania, Slinky Dog Dash, it was uh, Rock, Rock and Roller Coaster, Coaster. and Mickey's Mini, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. How did we do that? Quick recap, this is how we did this. The park opened at 8.30, but since we're staying on property, we were allowed to go into the park early, a half hour early. We actually arrived way early. So we got here about 7.15. They should let us in about eight o'clock, right? Because the park opens at 8.30. They actually let us in at 7.45. So we were able to do right there at 7.45, we did Midway Mania. Right after that, we went to Slinky Dog Dash. And then, oh, I forgot to mention, why we're waiting in line to come into the park, what do we do? We went on our Genie Plus, because we bought our Genie Plus. We made a reservation for Mickey and Minnie's Railway at 9.30. So we did that way, way in line early this morning, uh, right, right, right when we got here. So then, now, after that, that I wanted yeah, to oh, add yeah. with the Genie Plus, that will make it easy for your whole group if you're coming with a group of people before you get to the park. So the night before, whatever, the week before, link everyone together in the app on the app, so you're all in the same reservation, and one person can actually be making the Genie Plus reservations for everyone, so you're all together. Yeah, absolutely. When did so. You get? So what we did is we made that Genie Plus reservation. Uh -huh. We went, uh, then while we're waiting for our reservation, we went and rode uh, Aerosmith's Rock and Roller Coaster. That's how we were able to do four attractions in the first hour, <laughs> which, and those are four major attractions. So it's something you really want to do is make sure you utilize the extra early morning and also Genie Plus. <laughs> and we didn't even use the ill, oh, ah. the ill. <laughs> now, we're going to show you <laughs> next. Like ill. Oh ill. No, the lightning lane. That's the individual lightning lane. We're going to show you. What are we going to show you? The third tip of how to skip the lines. And boy, howdy. As and boy, says, howdy. This one is fun. I'm so excited for this one. This is what I'm actually most excited for to experience and to show you guys and tell you about. All right, let's do it. All right, I just have to show a little trivia here. I love this. This is Peavy's. 
Polar Pipeline. Now this is from the movie The Rocketeer, which I love. But if you look down here, you got this nice little uh, like d dessert area. But look in the corner, what do you see? You see the rocket pack from Rocketeer and the helmet that he wears. What? Most people don't even know that's here. They just ignore it, but it's amazing. PVs, PVs. And they, they're giving me permission to get a little bit closer because check it out. Oh my gosh, guys. There's the rocket pack from the Rocketeer and the helmet. This is, and it's a great movie, guys. It's a really good movie. Check it out. Okay, she made us stop to get some popcorn. Busted. Busted. In fact, I have to show my socks because I knew that Amanda would do this. Popcorn socks. Oh, wait. Popcorn socks in honor of Amanda's popcorn obsession. And this is what's interesting to me. I'm not sure if anybody would know this. Amanda says, oh, are you babying it? So good, you guys. Amanda says Hollywood Studios has the best popcorn. I like Hollywood Studios popcorn. It just feels popcorn-y too, right? Like the land just feels popcorn-y. But I also have to say the last time I was at Epcot, I had uh, popcorn at Epcot and it was amazing. They were all like yellow. Like they were all yellow pieces. It was so good. But this just feels like you need popcorn, right? You're in studios, movies. Yeah, you need some, you need some popcorn. Uh -huh. My wife ordered me to stop acting like a flamingo. I had to put my foot down. Do you know what the opposite of, of flamingo is? Flamingo stop. Yes. <laughs> she made us stop and sit down in some shade so she could eat her popcorn, so she could just enjoy it. It tastes really good. Does it taste really good? You've eaten almost all of it. It's almost all gone. Whoa, look at this. Now it is dark and it's a nighttime. You're like, what are you guys doing? It's a little bit chilly. So we got in some sweaters and had a little chilly. Now the reason we're doing this is uh, we're going to show you if you happen to sing at a deluxe resort, a deluxe resort here at the Magic Kingdom at the Walt Disney World, whatever. That leads us to our tip number three. three. So we started right there in the morning. That was to Hollywood Studios. And now we are off to Magic Kingdom. Yes. And when we started early in the morning, it was dark. We were right over there. And now it's dark and it's at nighttime. We're getting ready to go. And you might be thinking, why are you going at closing time? Well, we'll get to it. Because there's some amazing perks. <laughs> All right. Amanda just got me. She's like, you need this. So I just got it. <laughs> it's adorable. Do you like it? I love it. All right. Very cute. Very cute. Disney, hear me out. Can you imagine this sweatshirt, but instead of Mickey on it, if it had Daisy Duck, and, me, and she has like her sassy look on it, you know, she's looking at you, her bills, she's like, mm-hmm, and you're like, yeah. So what that would you're be saying, so hot. there's a lot of Daisy Duck, but there, there... No, there's not, a, there's not a lot of Daisy Duck. Okay, so you want... More Daisy. You want Daisy on a sweater like that, that yes. you can wear and enjoy. Oh yeah, All that, right. that'd be awesome. Not just like a little kid's Daisy Duck t-shirt. No, I want, I want full a on legit. Daisy where she's got like her little bracelet on. Okay. Or like high heels. Yeah. Little duck shoes. Yeah, the duck shoes. Yeah. yeah. All of it. Woo. Ah, look at it. Everybody's leaving, but we're going in. <laughs> I can't even, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Why is it, why are we going in so late at night? Well, we're going to tell you why. Because it's an amazing perk. You basically get the park all to yourself for two hours. We'll show you how to do it. I just have to show you this. Today is January 11th, the day that we filmed this. And look, Christmas is still up here. That's kind of crazy. I'm like, wow. We were shocked. I was not expecting that. I was this not expecting that all. either. Here we go, Christmas. Okay, this is craziness. The Christmas actually is throwing me off right now, but it's beautiful. It makes me want to come back next year for Christmas time. But okay, so this is tip number three. This is my favorite tip that we have for you, and this is a special perk. So not everyone can do this, but it's a special perk that you get if you stay on property at a deluxe hotel. We're actually going to have a video of a lot of the deluxe hotels you can choose from. So you can kind of compare and contrast to see where you want to stay. But this is how it works. So a deluxe hotel can sometimes get an extra evening after hours event here at either Magic Kingdom usually or Epcot usually. This is sometimes on a Monday or on a Wednesday. So it's not every single night. And how it works is two hours after the park closes, you get to stay here and play and ride the rides. So right now it's about 9.30. Some of the crowds are leaving right now, but we arrived early. You can arrive early if you have that park hopper ticket. Wherever you started during the day, doesn't matter. You can 
gonna arrive at that after hours, uh, you know, extra hours at night. Most of the crowds are leaving right now, so we're gonna go play. Then once the park closes at 11 o'clock p.m., we're gonna show you what it's like to have the park to yourselves. We're gonna ride all the rides and we get to stay here until one o'clock. So the park closes at 11. We're staying after hours until one. Okay, so we just give you a lot of information. Let me just break it down and make it really easy. Here's what you need to know. One, you have to be staying at a deluxe resort in order to get this uh, extended hours. They call it extended hours, okay? Just keep that in mind. Extended hours are usually Monday at Epcot and Wednesdays at Magic Kingdom. Every once in a while, they'll sprinkle some other ones in at like Hollywood Studios, it's rare. They'll put it on the schedule 45 days in advance to let you know which park is available. You ask our friends at Getaway Today and they'll be able to help you plan this. So today we went to Hollywood Studios, so we have to have a park hopper pass to come here to enjoy the benefit of the extended stay, the extended hours here after, after night. It the park is gonna close today at 11 o'clock. Everybody's out. The only people who can stay is the people who are staying at the deluxe hotel. Now here's what happens. Usually for that first hour, you get, you get a small crowd, but by, that, by the time it gets about midnight, most children, they're gone. A lot of parents, they're tired. And then the park is literally empty. I've done this before. It's a walk-on Snow White's Mine Train, like the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. It's a walk, walk-on, guys. It's amazing. So you gotta stay at a deluxe resort in order to get this benefit. Let's do this. I'm gonna show you what it's like. The park has another hour before it closes, and then that's when the extended hour goes. And look, it's only 10 minute away for pirates. There's like hardly any lines. All, people are like, all leaving. This is a great sign. See right there, like there, we got an hour till 11, and then the park closes, and then we have two more hours. This is a fantastic sign because it means the crowds are already leaving. So by she the lost time. Hand. By the R. <laughs> <laughs> By the time we're leaving, or by the time it's our extra hours, I bet we're gonna have the park to ourselves. For this sure. Is a great sign. All right, mateys. You guys, she's happy. <laughs> We've waited in all these lines before. There's like no lines. Get it. What is that? Oh man, get it. <laughs> You guys, I had to deal with this every day. Every day. You guys, we're just gonna show you the map. We just got to the Pirates. I wanna show you like the wait times right now. This is so fantastic. So Splash Mountain is 10 minutes. Uh, let's see here, Pirates we were just on is 10 minutes. 10. That looks like Tiki Room 10. 10. Yeah, 10, 10. Uh, Jungle, Jungle Cruise, Cruise is 45. 45. Probably less than that though, would be my guess. All right, let's look over at Haunted Mansion. 40, not too bad, and Peter Pan 45. Not too bad for two huge heavy hitters. A uh, mine train is of course 70, but that's yeah, to be expected. But look at all these over here. Everything else, yeah. Oh, not too, not bad. too bad, you not guys. This shabby. is fantastic, and the park hasn't even closed yet. So that's one awesome thing how they do these on Mondays and Wednesdays. So a lot of people, if they're like, oh, we're leaving the next day, or they're going to work, they're going to be clearing out of the parks. So truly, like, you can skip the lines before the park even closes. Then, when the park actually closes, then it's party time. You have the place to yourself. It's like you're a VIP at Disney World. Looks like you look like a mermaid and party like a pirate. That's right. <laughs> you guys, we are now in the line to do Aladdin. I've never done it before, but why not? There's no line. Literally, there's like no line. We figured, why not? Let's do it. Here it goes, guys. We've never done this. We're gonna do it. This, this is very exciting. very exciting. So on the back row, you got a little button there, yeah. and that makes the it p does the pitch on the rug. Okay. <laughs> and I have a little knobby thing here that makes it go up and down. All right. Your job is to make sure we stay aerodynamic. Got, I can do that. Okay. Right here on Aladdin's magic flying carpet. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> you adjust the pitch. I'm adjusting. Oh my gosh. Oh, we're tilting. Ready? Now we're start going up. Let's go up. Up, 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 up. Now dive down. Ready? Yeah. Go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. No, that's the wrong way. Wrong way. Wrong way. <laughs> You're pitching the wrong way. I'm pitching the wrong way. Now go down. Go down. Ready? Okay. We're diving down. Wow. 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 This is wild. This is out of control. <laughs> Look at all those genies. Is that is that plural? Is it genie? Uh, <laughs> the genie 
You guys, that was awesome. And we walked right on, no lines. That is so much fun. Now I have to ride it every time I come to Disney World. I've never been able to ride it before because I'm always like, oh, I'm not gonna wait in the lines for the magic carpet. But now I'm like, yeah, you definitely have to ride the magic flying carpet. <laughs> it's 10.36. We still got 20 more minutes before the park closes and opens up. We're thinking we might go check out, just kind of walk around for a little bit and see what's going on. Yeah, we might make our way over to Fantasyland. Yeah, check out let's do it. Mansion, see what it, what's going on. All right, so Haunted Mansion is a 40 minute wait right now, which we are going to come back after it closes because you know the wait goes way less than that. Right now it's 10 45 and Small World is five minutes. Woo! -hoo. And Love Peter it. Pan looks very empty too. All right, so we just walked by Peter Pan. It was a 35 minute wait, so we're just gonna go keep going into Fantasyland and just check it out. Okay, so this is what I'm thinking. Let me tell you what I'm thinking. I'm what not are you gonna, thinking? I'm not gonna wait in line. That's that's not why we're here. We're here to not wait in line, right? Right. right. We've walked on so many rides already. I'm not gonna wait in line. I'm not gonna do it. So, we've got Haunted Mansion and Peter Pan that are you know, about 40 minute waits right now. We're gonna put those for our after hours. Sure. We can walk right on. We're gonna see what else is to walk on right now. And then when the park closes, we'll go walk on the Peter Pan and Haunted Mansion. Sure, I love it. We're not waiting in line. So. Not waiting in line. <laughs> we're gonna do the carousel because it's there's a walk no on. There's no line. <laughs> I mean, I know you guys are gonna wait in line. I know he's not gonna wait in line. I know I'm not gonna wait in line. Ain't nobody got time for that. There goes Amanda. <laughs> Trying to find the horses she likes. Which horse is she going to choose? Round and round she goes. Where she stops, nobody knows. Oh, she's choosing that one. It's a lion. It's so fierce. Lion oh. looks fierce. Oh, but you don't have a horse next to me. Oh, okay. Well, we can't do that. You get the one that one's really fierce to really happy. You get the one with flowers. Oh, which is my horse? Aw, roses. I'll name that horse Petal. Amanda changed her mind. She wanted this fiercer horse. It's got like armor plating and everything. Wow, look at you. This horse is intense. I love it. And I'm on this horse. I named this horse Lucy. How do I buckle my strap? There she is. <laughs> yeah, woohoo! Yeehee! Riding that horse, babe. <laughs> All right, so now we just turned 11 o'clock and the park is now open till one o'clock for people to stay in Deluxe Resort. And uh, you might be thinking, well, how do they know that? When you go on the attraction right now, they're gonna scan you like your wristband or your, like your app or your room key, and they'll let you go on. If you don't have the appropriate credentials, then they turn you away once you go on. So right now we have like a cross-pollination of people here all day, and then they'll start trickling out, and then, I mean, it just gets less and less in line. Like right now, Speedway, is there's no wait. Let's go on. I have to get on it. I'll scan my badge. You're all good. All good. You're good. And that's how easy it is. <laughs> Here we go. I have a need for speed. A need. I have a need. The need for speed. Oh, oh, my oh, gosh. On the speed. Oh my gosh. Amanda, don't do that. What are you doing? <laughs> that was me, guys. Just ran around the gas pedal. Make it a little more difficult for Amanda to drive. Thank you. Whoa. Whoa. I don't think you need to make it any more difficult. I think it's yep. hard enough for me as it is. <laughs> you guys, there's Tron opening up April 4th. We'll be here. So excited. Oh, so I am the biggest Tron fan. Very excited for it. She's trying to kill me. She's trying to be so crazy. I know, I really not. I can't handle this. I'm not like moving it and it's just going back. Are and you forth. doing that on purpose? No, I promise. I'm really not. <laughs> All right, so Buzz Lightyear is only five minute wait, and that's what I, I voted for that. But Amanda voted for Haunted Mansion, and somehow her vote's more powerful than my vote. So we're going to Haunted Mansion. <laughs> it said it's a no, there's no wait. No wait. So Haunted Mansion says it's a 13 minute wait. Which means no wait. Which means no wait. <laughs> so we're going to do that one. <laughs>
it's 11:27 at night, guys. We actually stopped and got a little treat, and now we're here to going to um, the haunted mansion. And you see the crowds really thin down. There's like nobody here, so let's go check it out. It's a 13-minute wait, which we know actually means pretty much no wait. We just walked pretty much right on. Welcome. Now we're gonna go ride the ride. If you listen, the gargoyles talk. Yeah, if you listen, the gargoyle is a laugh, or you can hear them sometimes talking a little bit too. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Guys, we liked it so much. <laughs> We're gonna do it again. We're gonna do it again. I mean, this is just so fantastic to walk through all of these lines and you just get to walk right on. And it's the Haunted Mansion, like such a classic and it's usually a huge long wait during the day. So it's just awesome. Betrays an aura of foreboding, almost as though you sense a disquieting metamorphosis. Is this haunted room actually stretching, or is it your imagination? Mm -hmm. some fun trivia. There's only four living souls in this ride. There's the dog and the crib keeper. And notice they're lit differently. The lighting on them is a little bit different. And then over here you can see the two owls up on the tree. Notice how they're lit a little bit different than the rest of the ghosts because they truly are alive. All right, we just walked by Peter Pan. It's 15 minutes, which is amazing. And I want you to take a look here at Fantasyland. It is pretty much empty, guys. <laughs> Very empty. You can pretty much go do almost anything you really want to do. The only ones that still have a little bit of wait are, uh, it's right now, it's just a little bit past midnight. The mine train has about a 45 minute wait. Everything else though is just really almost walk on. Which is actually great for mine train. So. When you think about it, 45 minutes wait is actually incredible. Yeah, and if you, if you are willing to stay till one o'clock, the drop it will drop down to about 15 minutes. All right, guys, if you guys have watched this video all the way through, comment line skipper below. Line skipper. That's, that's the secret, secret, that's a secret thing, so we know. <laughs> line skipper. And just let us know if these tips were helpful. Hey, I just want to take a quick little moment to say this. This has been an ex amazing, exceptional, fun day. Skipping lots of lines, just having a lot of fun. But you know what's even more exceptional than that? You. You are amazing. And I want you to know that I am talking to you. And I know if you're thinking to yourself, that can't be me. No, then if you think that, then that's especially for you. I want you to know that I think that you are amazing. You are wonderful and you are exceptional. You make the world a better place. I hope that you know that. And if you don't know that, I want you to start to believe it because the world is better because you are here. You are, you're a bright spot. I know sometimes you don't hear that enough. But I just want you to know that you have a friend in Provost Park Pass. We think you're amazing. Okay, I want to recap. These are the three different ways you can skip lines when you come here to Walt Disney World. One, number, the first one is if you're staying at a resort hotel on property, doesn't matter if it's a value, a moderate, or a deluxe, you get the early magic morning. That's a half hour bonus. Make sure you are lined up and ready to go way before the half hour so you get right in because it usually lets you in a little bit earlier. That's one way. Also, make sure you're rope dropping. Get there right as it opens and you get the right rope drop. That first hour is golden. You get a lot of good attractions in that first hour. The next way is your Genie Plus. Make sure you got the Genie Plus, you purchase it right at 7 a.m. and start making those reservations. You'll be able to start skipping those lines. Remember, it's $15 per person in your group, so just be aware of that. And lastly, if you're staying at a deluxe resort, if you're staying at a deluxe resort, uh, they have these wonderful things called extended hours after in the evening. It's usually on Wednesday nights and on Monday nights at Epcot, and then on Wednesdays here at Magic Kingdom. And this is really amazing. Like, there's there's nobody here. It's awesome. But, oh. Hit that, wait a minute. Have you hit that like button yet? Okay, good, all right. Go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. You guys know the drill by now, you are amazing. We'll talk to you later. Thank you for watching. We showed you three ways to skip the lines at Walt Disney World. And if you're still listening to this video, please comment down below, Meatball Sub, and subscribe. You only have to write Meatball Sub, but then you can subscribe. Get that meatball sub, get that meatball sub, it's amazing. You won't regret it.